We're to the last segment, the financial segment. We're talking about stocks, helping you guys make those gains. If you're finding us for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to his. We're breaking down a little bit of what we do in our stock portfolios, trying to give you guys some knowledge. And before we dig into what we did today, I've been telling you guys to buy some Tesla. I'm also about to tell you guys to buy some Amazon, even if you have to get a fractional share. To make my case, I'm going to show you a video of what is going on with Amazon. But before I make that case, a wise man once said, a very wealthy investor, billionaire investor, he said, you want to invest in companies where people have multiple entities from that company in or around their home. And that's exactly what Amazon has. So take a look at this. And uh, Larry know where I'm going with it, and then we'll break it down. All right, so let's talk about Amazon, the stock that's been booming. And I'm pretty sure one of you guys that's watching has probably bought Amazon products in the past 24 hours. Let's be honest here. This is one of the biggest e-commerce sites in the world. But the thing about Amazon that sets it apart from other companies is it doesn't just do e-commerce. Now, if Amazon just does e-commerce, I'm sure it's still worth a lot of money, but one of the biggest reasons why Amazon is such a ballin' company is because it's way more than an e-commerce store. So Amazon obviously got Amazon.com, which is pretty, you know, big. A lot of people sell things on there. You got really big companies that sell stuff on here. You also got the smaller private sellers. But now Amazon is competing with those guys as well. In the very beginning, I thought Amazon is most likely going to stop on e-commerce. No way would they ever go to the grocery business. But they went into the grocery business with a huge bang and something very different, which was Amazon Go. And not only that, they also own Whole Foods Market, which, of course, a lot of us students and also hipsters go there because it's really, really nice. And Amazon Go is something that's very cool. It's kind of like a shopless store. And pretty much if you go inside, let's say you grab a piece of bread, some cheese, and a bottle of like your favorite drink, just walk out. There's no cashier, and the moment you walk out, they charge it on your Amazon app. That is pretty awesome, if you ask me. If you check this out on Yelp, you may be wondering, how is the Amazon Go stores? Is it very good? You can see it's 4.5 stars out of 251 reviews. A lot of people have been saying it's pretty incredible to actually go into a store, scan things, and walk out. It's pretty awesome. Like another thing is if you look at what Amazon owns, if you think Amazon only sells online objects and also online items, you're definitely wrong because if you look at this, they're literally competing with every single major company. Tw they own Twitch, Amazon Pay, they own Amazon Logistics, and they literally said bye-bye to FedEx. They have Audible, which a lot of people listen to. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys stumble to an Audible ad every single once in a while. Amazon Alexa is by far one of the best smart speakers in the world. It's way better than the a HomePod by Apple. In my opinion, it's just as good as the Google Home. They have Amazon Prime Music, which is going against Apple Music and Spotify. IMDB, which is going against what Rotten Tomatoes. They got Amazon Prime, which is really insane. And the thing about Prime is it gives you access to Amazon Go and also gives you exclusive deals at Whole Foods Market. It's kind of like a very nice modern cult, which millennials really, really like. And the thing about Amazon is even though they're the jack of all trades, very similar to Walmart, which sells everything, they pride themselves in good products and good customer service. Of course, they own Amazon.com, Amazon Kindle, AWS, and all this different stuff. And and it's pretty incredible what they do. Ladies and gentlemen, whatever you gotta do, get you some Amazon. They touch everything. And the one thing he forgot to mention is that now they're getting ready to get into the space race. They've already got 15 satellites up. And beyond that, that grocery store that he mentioned, which is why I brought Larry into this discussion, is gaining rave reviews. You go in there, you get your produce, as long as you've got your, the Amazon app, it just sends the bill right to your app. You don't, you just get what you want, walk out, bam, you're done. And yeah. now they've even got it where if you go to Whole Foods, they do curbside absolutely free and you get a discount. And so yeah. you, you can't beat what they've created, which is, you know, any one of those other items can take off for Amazon and make you more money on your stock. So that is definitely a blue chip stock everyone needs to have. But I said that because Larry today invested in something that just came out. Larry, tell the good people about your investment of the day. 
Yeah, so uh, so Albertsons is a grocery store chain that out in uh, I, I'm from California originally. Albertsons is out there in California. Um, they also own a number of other grocery store chains like Safeway and Vons and Acme and jeez, uh, I don't know. They probably they probably have you know 15 or so plus chains, and they're still talking about further acquisitions. Um, but they they had their IPO today. They had tried before uh, two different times that didn't work out. They have a new CEO that has uh, that has restructured some of their debt and 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 they're they're just he's he's organizing the company a little bit differently. And so they had an IPO today, which was good and bad. It was good that it finally happened. It was third time out. They finally got it done. Bad is that it actually went in on a very down day in the market. So. They were expected to come out between eighteen and twenty dollars, and some of the uh, you know some of the financial analysts out there, like Kramer, were suggesting that that it was a buy if you can get it under twenty five dollars because they were expecting it to go high right away. But because the market was so down, just sort of killed it all. And it, it came in lower. It came in at like I think it came in at like sixteen dollars or something like that, and uh, so. Yeah, it's. I mean, I bought. I bought in on it. I bought in at like. I got in at like fifteen seventy seven or something like that. So I got in lower than the than the IPO, and it did. It closed down. It did close down. It closed down at like I think at fifteen seventy five or something like that. So, you know, I. It's one of those stocks. I mean, if you were looking to buy it and sell it the same day, it's not working out. But if you're looking at buying it and holding it, I think it's going to do well. There's a lot of those stores out there that are, you know. That have all have the the uh, the delivery or to go or the, the the curbside pickup, and as we see these spikes happening, and we look at a second wave, you know, coming coming along in the next, you know, well, it's here now for some states and probably coming in more states in the coming weeks and months as more people open up and are irresponsible. We're gonna probably have some lockdowns, if not total lockdowns, they may be partial lockdowns that are state by state. And what we're going to see is more people shopping and cooking at home. They've already been talking about more and more people are cooking at home. And when you cook at home, you have to get your food from somewhere. Most people are going to order it or go get it from the grocery store. So I think grocery store stocks are going to do really, really well over the next several months. They may not be. They, I mean, I don't know. Personally, I think grocery store stocks will do fine. Some people don't think they're going to be the greatest really long term, like five years out, because grocery stores generally have fairly thin margins. But when you have more people, when you have more people shopping and buying and cooking at home, it allows the grocery stores to obviously earn more money because they have more people buying. They're moving more product because of the way things are. The prices are going up. So you only have. So right now you have prices going up. And you have, uh, you know, you have increased demand with more people buying there. So, I think for the next probably 12 months or so, I think grocery stores are really good. And I'm looking forward to to my Albertson stock going up enough that I can sell off half of it and recoup my uh, my investment and then hold on to the rest.